Hello, I'm John Stricker along with Kevin Wagenka, Matt McAllister, and Matt McCoy. We are Group B27, and we will be doing a video today on Pascal's identity and Pascal's triangle. To see this video and others, please visit www.noadam.com where you can see many videos like this on discrete mathematics. Pascal's identity is a theorem in discrete mathematics. As you can see here, it states that n choose k plus the quantity of n choose k plus k minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 choose k, in which k is less than n plus 1, and both those numbers are greater than 1. Uh, Pascal's triangle is a mathematical triangle that is made as follows. On the first row, you write the number 1. And to get the numbers in sequen sequential rows, you add the numbers that can be seen above to the left, if any, and the number above to the right, if any, to attain the new value. You can see here below we have a, an example of, or the first couple rows of Pascal's triangle, um, and you can also see the addition of these rows um, can also be and can also be uh, connected to the Fibonacci sequence that is shown on the left. We will continue with a simple problem involving Pascal's triangle. The problem states, what is the row of Pascal's triangle containing the binomial coefficients n choose k, where n is equal to 9, and k is between 0 and 9 inclusive? So, from the identity previously stated, uh, we can see that the eighth row can be found by starting with the first number being 8 choose 0, the second number being 8 choose 1, third number being 8 choose 2, and so on. So continuing with the problem, the first number in the sequence will always be 9 or n choose 0. And then we need to add the two numbers on top on the left and right. So by Pascal's identity, 8 choose 0 plus 8 choose 1 is equal to 9 choose 1. So here you have 9 choose 1 since you're adding both the left and the right sides. And then you see the sequence will continue. 9 choose 2 will go here and we'll continue on until we get to the end. And your final answer will look like this for this problem. Next, we will continue with a combinatorial proof for Pascal's identity. First, we will start with the definition of n choose k. The definition of n choose k is counting how many ways we can get a k subset out of from a set of n elements. Now suppose there is a certain element x that is contained in the set of n elements. Every time you choose k elements to form a subset, there are two possibilities. Either x belongs to the, to the subset k or it does not belong to the subset k. If x is in the subset k, you only need to choose k minus 1 more objects from the remaining n minus 1 more objects. So this can be shown as n minus 1 choose k minus 1. Additionally, suppose the opposite case where x is not in subset k. Then you will still need to choose all k elements in the, subs in the subset from the n minus 1 objects that remain in the, the initial subset, the initial set of n elements. This can be shown as n minus 1 choose k. Thus, we can conclude the number of ways to get a k subset from a set containing n elements, which is n choose k, 
is also the number n minus 1 choose k minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose k. This equation can be rewritten as n choose k plus n choose k minus 1 equals n plus 1 choose k where k is less than n plus 1 and is greater than 1 which is the equation for Pascal's identity that we showed on the previous slide. We will continue with another type of proof, an algebraic proof of Pascal's identity. First we will start with by showing we need to show n choose k plus n choose k minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 choose k. We will begin by rewriting the left hand side and then continue algebraically. I will not narrate all steps because it will get confusing but please try to follow along with the steps being written. This is the left hand side rewritten. Now we will get a common denominator and simplify. Now that we have a common denominator, we are simplifying the equation. Through further simplification, we end up with this equation. Now by the rules of factorials we can change the numerator to be simply n plus 1 factorial. And then, by the rules of the binomial coefficient, we know that this is equal to n plus 1 choose k. Therefore, from our initial equation, which we started with, which was n ch choose, the initial equation we started with was n choose k plus n choose k plus plus n choose k minus 1, we have concluded that the left hand side equals the right hand side of n plus 1 choose k. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you learned something new about Pascal's identity and his triangle. Again, please visit noadam.com to watch more videos like ours and to continue learning more about discrete mathematics.